One day a mouse noticed that the owner of the farm set a mouse trap. He told this to the chicken, sheep, and cow, but all of them answered, The mouse trap is your problem. It has nothing to do with us. Later a snake was caught in a mouse trap and bit the farmer's wife. The farmer, trying to heal her, made chicken soup for his wife. Afterwards slaughtered a sheep to feed everyone who came to visit the wife. Unfortunately, the wife died, and the farmer slaughtered the cow to feed it to the guests at the funeral of his wife. All this time, the mouse watched what was happening through a hole in the wall. Always remember, if something doesn't concern you, don't directly think that this is something that will not hit you on the head. A rich man had three daughters. One day, a cleaner was cleaning their house, and the man hid behind the door. The first daughter came and threw her coffee, spilling it all over the floor. The cleaner looked at her with sadness and started cleaning. The man saw this but kept hiding behind the door. Then the second daughter came and reached into her purse, only to pull out trash and throw it on the floor. The cleaner looked at her with sadness and again started cleaning. Then the third daughter came and said, You work hard all day. Come to eat with me. They went to eat, and after some time, the man called his daughters and gave each one of them a gift. The first daughter opened the gift and saw that it was the coffee she spilled. The second daughter opened her gift and saw that it was the trash she threw on the floor. The third daughter opened her gift and saw that it was full of cash, and there was a note inside. The note read, Dear daughter, all of my expensive cars and houses are now yours. A son took his old father to a restaurant for an evening dinner. Father, being very old and weak while eating, dropped food on his shirt and trousers. The people in the restaurant watched him in disgust while his son was calm. After he finished eating, his son, who was not at all embarrassed, quietly took him to the washroom, wiped the food particles, removed the stains, and combed his hair. When they came out, the entire restaurant was watching them in dead silence unable to grasp how someone could embarrass themselves publicly like that. The son settled the bill and started walking out with his father. At that time, an old man amongst the people called out to the son and asked him, Don't you think you have left something behind? The son replied, No, sir, I haven't. The old man replied, Yes, you have. You left a lesson for every son and hope for every father. One night, four college kids stayed out late, partying and having a good time. They paid no mind to the test they had scheduled for the next day and didn't study. In the morning, they made a plan to get out of taking their test. They covered themselves with grease and dirt and went to the teacher's office. Once there, they said they had been to a wedding the previous night, and on the way back, they got a flat tire and had to push the car back to campus. Teacher listened and to the student's delight. She offered them to rest and take the test three days later. They thanked her and accepted her offer. When the test day arrived, they went to the teacher. The teacher put them all in separate rooms for the test. They were fine with this since they had all studied hard. Then they saw the test. It had two questions. The first question, for one point, was what's your name? The second question, for 99 points, was which tire burst? 